Hey guys, I'm Rachel. And I'm Aria. And today, we are reacting to G-Dragon's Muje, also called Untitled 2014. This song, G-Dragon hasn't had a comeback in a while. Right? Like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't tell you how excited, G-Dragon is my boy. Like, you cannot even fathom how excited I was. G-Dragon's cool. She's more of a top girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you could say I'm more of a top stan. But G Dragon's cool. Um, she likes the deep voices. I Yeah, G Dragon is a bit more high pitched than what, you know, naturally calls to me. But I mean, I still get down with his music. I mean, his style's a bit weird, but I could get down with that too. <laughs> well, you're, you, you usually like the weird ones though, so this is kind of weird. It's just weird. <laughs> but I did hear a small, small snippet of this song, and from what I heard, it sounded like it was gonna be like more of a like slow ballad track. Also, why does it say 2014? Why is it 2014? I have I I don't know anything about this song. Um maybe it's like a hate reflecting. Type of song? Maybe, Maybe, or he wrote it in 2014. And now it's getting released. I don't even know when was his last like comeback. Ooh. Um, I don't know either. I feel like that it was at least well a couple years ago is when Good Boy came out. That so wasn't like just a solo, but anyways, we're excited. Um, debating is not going to help us figure it out anymore. Let us know um, what the 2014 thing is about. Um, if, if we were even close to what it was about. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll be decided in the song. Oh yeah, maybe maybe we'll figure it out while we're watching. There's only one way to find out. I think I think you're right about that. Should we just should I we... think I think we should. Uh, soft G Dragon. <laughs> Gotta bring out, bring out the phone, bring out the light. Damn, the Adam's apple though. <laughs> that kind of looks like it hurts, right? <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of wanna. I lost my phone. I was trying to copy him, play the piano along with him. <laughs> Okay, but you know what? G-Dragon's cute. I, yes. <laughs> I can recognize that. <laughs> I just look so weird. I think I've... Is he wearing a shirt under that? I don't think he is. Can we get some more lights up in here? <laughs> can we find uh, out, please? Okay, first off, where do I find that? Because that's cute as heck. Like I said, he has really weird stuff. Oh, it's red. Is it red? Yes. I think it's red. It is red. I'm pretty sure it's red. He's wearing lingerie. <laughs> G-Dragon G -Dragon does his own thing. He, yep. That's true. <laughs> He's in the sky. First list, like, I didn't know if he was wearing pants. I was so confused. The shirt is really pretty though. Isn't it? Where do we find it? Like... And his little hoop earrings. I feel like this is like a actually really, really sad song, but uh, apparently there are no captions, so... <coughs> Just comment, comment on the looks and... You never know! We heard that one earlier. I would love to hear this live. Oh my god. Right? Uh, I just got really sad all of a sudden. Right? I feel like, because it is really sad. I'm gonna look up the lyrics after this. Why'd it be like, not actually that sad? Okay, 
Okay, but that shirt looks like something you'd find in Victoria's Secret. That's what I was saying. That's why I made the joke about the lingerie. I highly agree with you. This is a really pretty song. You don't get much non-rapping G-Dragon. Right? Uh, that invisible piano. He just like, he has some good ass balance. Right? He looks like he could just all over. Right? Like at one point he was like full on back bending. I was pressed. So we read the lyrics. That was, that really was a very, very sad song. Yeah, that was, uh, we went zero to hundred real quick on the depressing scale. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like I could use a good cry. G Dragon, do you need a hug, bro? Because I mean, I really feel like you need a hug and you know, I hugs like everything better. Um, <laughs> Just fly out to California, it's fine. Um, we did hear that G Dragon made a last minute change to his comeback song because they were supposed to, he was, not they, he was supposed to come back with bullshit. Um, but in light of the top scandal, he instead chose to come back with Untitled 2014. Um, some people are saying it was to like avoid controversy, even though, like, I know the lyrics are about a breakup. Um, and like a romantic breakup. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering if it might have also been like the content, like earlier Arya, um, when we were looking at the lyrics mentioned that it sounded like a, a song for a lover that passed away. Yeah. Um, Cause so the wording in it made it sound like it was yeah. more so past tense for somebody who isn't, not around, like they're not in the same city anymore, but not around as in not around. Yeah. Um, or someone who's like really sick too. Yeah. Um, someone who's sick and maybe like might be almost passing away, which kind of makes, it kind of makes me feel like that, that may have been another reason <laughs> why that one was chosen. Um, I'm just, I'm just speculating out yeah. there. Throwing out theories. Um, for whatever the reason, I, it, it was such a pretty song. Yeah, it was so pretty. And you know, as, as much as, I, you know, like deeper voices. G Dragon, when he sings, he it's really, you know, pretty. Which is funny because he's not he's not a singer, Sing like yeah. at all. So yeah. like honestly, I think I prefer his singing more than I prefer um, his rapping, mostly because, you know, rapping I do the deeper voices, but singing wise, um I like high pitched. So naturally, G Dragon, his singing, it just makes me weak. I don't know, but I really like it. That's <laughs> I liked his outfit. Yep. His, I want to know where he got that shirt at. Yeah, if anyone knows, I know they're... Watch it be like, you know... Victoria's Secret. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounded really pretty. It did. This is going to be like on my like sad tunes for when like I just want to cry. This will probably be like number one on it. So <laughs> I can just have like a nice like <laughs> cry fest because I feel like this will really bring it on. <laughs> Oh, G-Dragon, I'm so happy you finally came back, especially, you know, before you go into the military. Uh, I know you can't, like, stay out of the military forever, so I'm glad we got another comeback from you before yeah. then. Um, oh, I'm just so sad. It's so pretty, but it's so depressing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, um... Thank you guys for joining us. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. Because <sighs> we put out new videos all the time now, so how exciting is that? <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on twitch.tv slash hellocastnova because we also play video games on the weekend. How much fun is that? And you should come watch and you should come hang out with us so we can talk, you know, openly together about how sad this song is and why we should all just give G-Dragon one big giant hug. I mean, I wouldn't mind hugging G-Dragon. Just gonna put it out there. <laughs> put it out there, G-Dragon. Anyways, also don't forget to check out our social media, which will be listed down below and on the next page. So with all that being said, we hope you enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye!